Do you think that it is an election ploy, as, as some have suggested? Or do you think in some of these places, like, for instance, Portland has declared a state of, of riot now. Do you think some of these places want these federal forces? Or do you think it is just an election ploy on behalf of the president? No, look, I've been in politics 50 years. I think I understand the political mind. This is pure politics. It's a move uh, probably reminiscent of Richard Nixon in 68 when we had all the uh, protests and riots and all these civil disturbances. Uh, Nixon uh, was very aware that he played it uh, like a violin and he won in 1968. So Trump is aware of that history, and he's trying to do the same thing. Look, California's had riots before. We had the Watts riots. We had protests and riots in 1992. Uh, even the National Guard of California is called out by the governor, by the president. A fundamental principle of America is federalism, and the most quintessentially local responsibility is public order and safety. Uh, the people of California, the people of Portland, Oakland, they can handle this. Uh, this is pure politics, but it's dangerous assertion of federal authority in a way that is very uh, contra, contrary to our historic uh, framework and what is divided responsibility between state, federal, and local. Uh, Governor, you said that Richard Nixon played the law enforcement card and he won. Do you think President Trump will, be, will win? Uh, no one knows. I think it's an election that cannot be predicted today. But I do think Trump, by his behavior toward, toward women, uh, toward his office, toward the truth, with his thousands of lies, uh, I don't see where the boundaries are in this man's character. So I think he's going to try to exploit it. But I think uh, America, Joe Biden, uh, de the decency of the people uh, will triumph and will see through what is really not just shoddy tactics, uh, but very dangerous and un-American maneuvers.